All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about why I AK part two. Stay tuned for this one. to get this is it's cheaper to shoot this folded now what do I mean there are a couple options uh, with the, the basic uh, what do I say not companion um, the opponent of this AK right the basic uh, biggest opponent of the AK is the AR now um, there is one coming out from there's the non folding one from they got the Stormworks one. Um, they have the, uh, what's the name of that thing? I got a, can't remember. But they got one that folds um, and you can't shoot with it. Then they have the Deadfoot Arms folding one, about 450 on the market right now. And you can shoot that folded, which I am going to get that and I am going to make a direct comparison to uh, this, which is um, Stormworks. But there's a couple of things that I wanted to take into consideration when I was doing this. Um, one was, the form factor, like how much space it takes up, which as you can see, when this is folded, basically takes up no space. Um, on the AR, it still takes up about three, four inches, uh, and then fold, unfolded, it takes up more space because you have the adjustable tube, right? Which I think that would be cool on like an 11.5, maybe a 10.5. Um, and another thing that I wanted to uh, take into consideration is how compact it would be. So this basically um, is about the same form factor, I think, as uh, the AR would be, but like I said, it would stick out more like this, which would make the uh, length of pull longer as well. And that was the third thing that I considered was the length of pull folded and unfolded. So the Deadfoot Arms, when it folds, it folds like down out of the way of your fire control group and stuff like that. Um, but when you're folded out, um, I've seen pictures of it on like a 7.5, which is what I have now, and it basically, the, the spray system basically extends out further than the barrel, which that kind of looks goofy to me. I don't really like that. And I knew if I got this, this is a, a 10 and a half, uh, and I don't know the length of pull of this, but it's legal limit. It, it's not even close um, to me, and also the weight balance really. Um, that was not really something that I put into consideration, but it's something that I'm considering now because I know I'm gonna have all my stuff up here. This is a heavier platform and I do like that. The reason why I wanted it folded is because uh, where I live, it's smaller hallways. So I basically wanted to be able to maneuver better uh, in CQB, CQC, whatever you call it, as well as in vehicles because Think about making this my truck gun if it's going to be my main squeeze and i am training uh for those type of uh, situations as well so just something that i've mentally been taking a note of and keeping in consideration granted a pistol is always better but um as you can see people always ask why you carry a rifle in a truck rifle or a pistol well you can carry both but pistols on your person rifles off body um this is a pistol round this is a basic nine millimeter and then this is your AK round. You can see even the bullet size by itself, uh, as well as the powder. So the velocity, the veracity is just different. And that makes a difference in people's minds. So, you know, the pistol to me is to get to your primary. So the secondary is to get to your primary or to get you home, you know, either one, whichever, whatever your context is. I digress. Another reason I AK the price of ammo is cheaper. Even throughout the pandemic, it was always cheaper than uh, nine mil as well as five five six. Seven six two is not as uh, common of a round, and it's getting less common with the quote unquote bans on import or whatever. They're just gonna make it here. Uh, I don't understand why that's gonna work, but. Um, it was always cheaper, even during the pandemic and stuff. I stocked up on a lot of it, and um, 9 mil was uh, through the damn roof. Even 
two, two, three, and five, five, six have stayed like similar to about a dollar around, and um, seven, six, two is still pretty, pretty cheap. Uh, I will say that. Um, and I like the mags. Um, they have a really big variety of mags. Uh, ARs do too, but I don't have to worry about tap racking and banging. If this mag is in there, it's in there because it has that lip and that lock and tab in the back. So when you put it in there, it's not halfway in there because it won't pick up around because the angle will be off. Sorry, the angle will be off. As you can see. So when I hear that click, I know it's in there. It's not going anywhere unless I want it to, unless I lift that latch up and I see it move. Compared to an AR, if you put it in there, it might not be fully seated, even if you push pull and you shoot that first round, it still might fall out. So, you know, that's a training thing, but I like when I put my mag in to be actually, you know, in there, like somewhere. Another thing, um, accessories are, um, for the AK, usually not sold out, unless it's like a really, really, really popular. Um, the only one I can think of was the K&S and the binary triggers, those were pretty sold out. Um, but other than that, all the, uh, all the accessories and stuff that I wanted, um, I was usually able to get them pretty easily and uh, pretty in stock as I see fit to purchase them. <clears throat> the price of AKs compared to like a, the price of a tricked out AK compared to the price of a tricked out AR is always going to be cheaper in my opinion. Like I think I spent like 15 on this um, and just on my AR that I built, I think I spent and it's not even completed yet. I think I spent about 900 bucks. So I know I'm gonna get to that um, that mark easily. Plus, we gotta factor in magazines and ammo. Um, now, magazines might be comparable, but good magazines, AR magazines are always gonna be more expensive than a good AK. Like, for instance, I got this one. This is a solid Croatian uh, generic, you know, steel, War made repainted mag, eight bucks. I wanted to get a solid like Lancer. I think those are the best for the AR. That's like 11, 12 bucks easily. Um, the best American made a AK mags are the uh, x -Tac. I think those are like 25. They might be more now, 27 with inflation, you know. Um, but that's American made. I don't have to get American made. I can get some of the, the you go bulk hold opens for 10 bucks, you know, uh, if you find the right place. Um, and uh, the form factor of the high capacity magazine. Now, when I say high capacity, I don't mean the 30 rounders. No, no, no. Play. <clears throat> now, this is what I mean when I say high capacity. Now, look at this compared to this. Now, it's barely that much thicker. It's like basically two of these and like uh, the same length as a 40 rounder. This is what I love, I love these. This is a 60 round quad stack and look at the size comparison. This is a 40 rounder, basically two 40 rounders pretty much. Um, now look at the form factor compared to the drum. You see that, not that much bigger. And this is a 75 rounder, now I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the actual gun. As you can see, it barely extends past the grip. Um, so I got this because of not weight savings, not uh, ammo capacity, nothing like that. I got this for strictly the form factor. It's real compact. Um, and in my opinion, this is about the same size as the uh, D60 in the AR because the AK doesn't have a mag wheel. So basically just go straight up in there and, um, you know, but I do still like these. Now granted, I think these are around the same price, around 70 bucks. I can get one of these for about 60. But um, like I said, this is the same size as a 40. 40 round it just thicker and it is polymer and steel and reinforced so it is um, a little bit more you know longer but at the same time it's still not uh interfering with any of my reloads or anything like that i can still clear it on my grip and uh no problems there but 
This will always be one of my favorites just because it looks like it looks, it fits. That thing fit down. That thing fit down. It just fits there. But those are some reasons why AK might think of some more and then come back to you guys. But let me know what you guys think about what I'm saying. You agree or disagree, leave it in the comments below. I'll reply to all uh, the ones that I see. Uh, so leave them in the comments. Peace.